Welcome to 2 News at Noon. Three people are injured in what turns out to be a mess in Warren County that blocked traffic. Good afternoon. I'm Marsha Bonhart. Pam Elliott is in our newsroom with the latest from the intersection that worries residents every day. Well, we're talking about the intersection of State Route 42 and Corwin Avenue in Waynesville. Now, this morning around 7 o'clock, a pickup truck collided with a semi there. I just heard um, a real, you know, the semi going off the horn, and then I heard some metal hit, and then I heard a big crash. Erica Williams has lived in this area of Waynesville most of her life. She says it's noisy and dangerous. I don't know why they don't put a light up. Instead, there are flashing lights, but they didn't stop the crash between the pickup truck traveling north on State Route 42 and the semi going south. Police say the pickup turned in front of the semi. It's pretty wild. This, we have accidents at this, this intersection on a pretty, um, not a regular basis, but pretty frequently. Um, so as bad as this, not normally. Sergeant Shane Wiseman says the Waynesville Police Department is collecting data on mishaps to determine if a light is needed here. But it's too late for the man who lives inside the apartment where the semi landed. He was injured, and witnesses believe the impact of the crash pushed the bed he was in across the floor. It's well inside the building. The biggest thing that uh, we're having a concern with now, once we pull it back out of there, we want to make sure we don't have a major fuel leak, and we have the equipment here to pump it down if we need to. Estimated time to clean up, three to four hours. Residents just hope the tenant wasn't the only one who got a wake-up call. At a last check, police were still on the scene. Invest investigators do not believe that any of the injuries are life-threatening. Pam Elliott, 2 News, on your side.